Discipline needs that kind of awareness. So what you do is you gain knowledge and then after you gain knowledge, you be aware. Now that's the second step. First you gain knowledge. Second, you be aware. Third, you reflect on that awareness. No muhasabat in nafs. Now I know that I'm getting a little bit academic, but it is important. You know, brothers, without these, I wouldn't get anywhere. I have to have this tambourine. You know, as I tell a lot of people, as I'm sitting down and studying theoretically how to wrestle, doesn't get you anywhere, right? Isn't that right? Theoretically speaking, you learn how to box. Okay, this is how you defend, this is how you punch, this is how you protect yourself. But if you do not practice it, it doesn't amount to anything. So you've got to practice. Worship, why do we have worship? It is the practice. Worship is only the mechanical aspect of tarbiyah, of discipline. Same thing, we have to deal with our beautiful, beloved children to get them better and better and better. One of the <coughs> scholars, he said, discipline requires three stages. What are these three stages? Now, please pay attention. I know sometimes I said we have to be a little, bit, a little bit academic. You know, if you study math, it is not always two plus two equals four. Then you have to sit down and study multiplication, and then you go into, and you know, you're going to go higher and higher, and then the division, and then into fraction, and so forth. Then you get into the, um, the, and then the, you know, dynamica, as they say, and, and the, the, you know, and differentiation and so forth. So the higher you go becomes a little bit more difficult. And the world, you have to be better and better and better to discipline yourself. What are these three steps? These three steps are as following. Number one, tahliya. Now pay attention. It is tahliya and then Tahliya and then Tanmiya. These are three stages of Tanmiya. What am I talking about? Let me give you a little introduction to the, these three stages of Tanmiya. Do you know why one of the most important sentences, matter of fact, the core of our faith, is what? Is the word La ilaha illallah. If you notice, La ilaha begins with a negative aspect. Why it is negative aspect? Have you ever thought about it? Why? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts off with a negative rather than positive? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He is all positive in this whole world and everything in this world is nothing but positive and khair, when He starts the discipline or when He starts this sentence, when He starts our paying attention, He begins with a negative aspect. La ilaha. It goes there. Why? Let me give you a physical. Now, now we have brothers here, our physicians, Allah bless you, inshallah ta'ala. We give you a physical aspect. When a person, God forbid, inshallah, you never be sick, inshallah, the person goes to a hospital, and the physician really realizes that this person needs such and such treatment, such and such procedure. Before he performs that procedure, you know what they do? There's something called tahliya. You know, first they see if he has any uh, uh, diseases, or they treat that diseases. Look at what they do. Let's say that they want procedures to go inside, they want to put a stethoscope, whatever they want to do, you know, physically speaking. So first they give him, you know, some shots in order to be uh, free from the germs. Second, uh, you know, they give him enemas, they don't let him eat food. It's called tahliya. They let him out. You know, they don't give him that day in the morning, they don't even give him food. To go There's no breakfast, no, no anything until they take him to the procedure or surgery. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never ever lets you be sick. Now, after the tahliya, then you go to tahliya. And then tell me. No, let us discuss these three. First, let's go back again to La ilaha. There is a heart inside of us. 
that heart, if you do not give it the treatment of La ilaha, you never can put it of illallah in it. Brother, if you understand, believe me, if you understood what I just said, you truly will go to Allah. This is the step. What was our great Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah 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 When he came, he gave us one sentence. He said, Qulu What? La ilaha illa Allah to fear. That's it. If I could get, if I could comprehend this sentence, truly I have comprehended the whole Islam. I have compre comprehended the whole Quran, I have comprehended the whole akhlaq, the ethics, the morality of Islam. This is the sentence. It is that deep. This sentence is very deep. And if you realize, it is first la ilaha. So therefore, with this tahiyya, now that I give you a little bit of, a, uh, of a introduction, month of Rajab must be the month of tahiyya. Tahiyya from what? Brother, if there is animosity in our hearts, we do not know what is Islam. What is Islam? What is the meaning of Islam? Doesn't Islam mean peace? As-salam. Islam means what? It's peace, right? And peace is from As-salam, right? Sahih or Lala. So therefore, if a person is a true Muslim, he is at peace and he is at what? As-salam, health. Why this person is at health and why he is at peace? Because he does not have an animosity in his heart. Because see, you get to pull these things out of your heart. Because and it's called tahliya. You have to empty your heart from jealousy, from anger, from cheating, from even laziness, you know, like from conniving, from plotting bad things, these are the bad things. From takabbur of brothers, if you want to know the cancer of a ruh, this is a takabbur. If you want something that will always make you at the bottom, never lets you go up, this is a takabbur. Arrogance, al fahd and a lot of times when you sit down and uh, the shaykh is saying something as soon as shaitan comes also and he also shaitan comes from inside and we have to talk from outside you see so immediately when the shaykh is saying oh I know that as soon as you said I know that you block your brain you know as in a, in a lot of times subhanAllah I listen to the little babies they come and they tell me something I try to open my eyes and more open my ears because what happens is sometimes they tell me something I've never thought of. You know, these, they come, the world is becoming new. Do you know why this world is called hadith? Because every day is a new thing. These children are new. You know, a lot of times because we get used to a certain action, these kids, they do something against us. It seems like they're doing something wrong. But they are not doing something wrong. It is new. So we have to give them. Rasulullah he said, give them their chance, لَأَنَّهُمْ خُلِقُوا لِزَمَانِ غَيْرَ زَمَانِكُمْ Give them their freedom, give them their time, 